<sighs> All right, welcome back to Double Take, where I, ah, fucking hell, re-review movies I've previously reviewed. Uh, but you know what? These these movies fucking suck, and you all need to fucking know about it. So goddamn it, this is what I'm doing. So the movie I'm talking about today is called Skeleton Crew. Did it stop? Oh, oh, oh! Got your reels burning. Oh, ah, oh, oh, Skeleton Crew. This movie starts off kind of, you know, generic horror film. There's a car wreck, someone, you know, like, heads off to a building that just so happens to be nearby. Hey, look, it's an insane asylum. Fine. You go in, things are tinted green, like a lot of the, the horror films that were happening in the early 2000s. Fine. Sure. Let's go with that. I probably, you know what, seriously? You're in a mental institution, I probably would have pissed in the bedpan and just threw it against the wall. Because, hey, they're probably used to that. Then, of course, you know, cliches happen. Oh, yeah, I am in an insane asylum. Let me go down this hallway. What's that noise? Let me leave the room. I was told not to leave. Okay. Oh, man, weird stuff's happening. And then, you see the reflection of a camera in the mirror. All right. And then, bam, break the fucking fourth wall. Oh, they're actually filming a movie. Okay, so the movie is really about this film crew, the skeleton crew, that's filming a movie. Okay, fine, fine. And the guy playing the director is being like a pretentious little shit. He's wearing like a John Carpenter's The Thing shirt. Like, what fucking hell? I'm wearing a psycho shirt, so, uh, really shouldn't say much. You're a film director wearing a uh, good film's fucking shirt and then thinking you're gonna make gold like what your shirt is. No! They're in this obviously old like abandoned asylum to film their horror film and I don't know a hole in the wall they discover a secret room that is already have the lights on and electricity's operating in there so sure why not. So, of course, they find, like, these old, like, film canisters, and they start, you know, playing them. And it's like, huh, this is, this asylum is really weird. I wonder why. Just stop being a baby. We're just crucifying you, okay? It's not a big deal. Jesus went through it. So then, of course, we go into more of the cliche, which is someone discovering something evil at a place, and then it ends up possessing them and all that shit. That's the, the director who's been, like, obsessed with these movies he's watching, like, these legit kind of snuff things he's watching. And he's filming, you know, horror film. Of course, the next thing is for him to want actual torture and shit to happen in his film. So of course he tricks like the actor to think that, oh yeah, he's just holding the fake drill and, you know, the drill bitch is gonna recede when you put it to the actor's head. But it's like really obvious. Press his heart into the top of her head. You kill him. So, here you go. The crew starts thinking like, you know what? This guy is fucking insane. I don't think I want to make this movie anymore. I think I want to leave. And they all start, like, you know, running away and all that shit like you do in a very large building instead of out, you keep running further in. This is like, like a bad, bad movie. movie. It is a bad yeah. movie. And then they find, like, some, like, editing room, some old school editing room, and they have a fucking Spaceballs moment. That is not even remotely possible. <laughs> There's a certain kind of level of self-awareness a movie has where it could be funny, it could be, like, satirical, you know what I mean? Like, it could still be part of, you know, horror or whatever. But this was just sad. Like, they were trying really hard to be like, get it? Nudge, nudge, you know, like, get it? We know these are cliches. Get it? We know these are tropes. Get it? We're so aware to the point where we do a fucking space balls thing to the point where we're like, oh my god, we are the skeleton crew. Fuck. We just shut the fuck up. Just trying to get us out here. That was so stupid. <laughs> one by one they die, just like a lot of these movie happens. 
Make more noise. Make more noise. Oh! How's it that you didn't see that when you're looking through the fucking thing? Main girl, so towards the end, she's just like, you know, I don't want to deal with your crazy director ass anymore. She just takes a gun and then, like, shoots herself in the mouth. And you're like, well, okay, girl, you died. Um, you had one bullet in there. You could have killed the dude. But then previously, you saw that he got shot and he got back up because, again, the cliche of the, ser of the killer in the movie never dying. Oh. All right. So then the movie ends with the girl who shot herself in the fucking mouth, which that sounds like the ending to a porno, strapped to a chair with her brains fucking exposed in the back of her fucking head, and the guy with a fucking blowtorch going, Director's Cut. Get the fuck out of my face with that shit. The director's cut. She's somehow still alive after shooting herself through the fucking skull. This movie was stupid. The funny thing is when I first reviewed this movie was back in like 2013 and I came across the movie probably around like 2010 or something, probably around the time the movie came out and I saw it on like this like bad photoshopping like blog and it was just kind of like the, the movie poster and then like the girl's legs were just very weird perspective mushed together. And I was like, oh man, that's a really bad movie poster, thinking it was just someone's art they did, and I was like, oh no, that's a legit movie poster. And like, years later, I was like, oh my god, like, let me, like, watch this movie. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have. The, the bad photoshopping probably should have told me at the time. But yeah, that was Skeleton Crew. Jesus! Fucking Christ, that scared the fuck out of me. You know, like, even The Rock was like, I ain't doing no direct-to-video shit. Oh, uh, we haven't even seen the second one, so we don't know what transpired to cause the person to change to a different person. It's all like a little glowing freaking raspberry jam. And then so, um, there's a clown, right? It's a clown. No, shut up, don't laugh at me. Alright, so it's a clown. 